Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and today I'm continuing my series of videos with the Tasty Bite products, and I will have a link below this video to their website so you can check out all the offers. So this is the uh, second recipe uh, video. This is actually part three, and this one, um, and I call these, they're all, it's all in the bag, meaning I put all the ingredients in here and you can eat it right out of the bag. You don't have too much cleanup, although I did the prep work before for what's going in here. Um, so, um, and for this one, I'm using the, uh, sticky rice, which is the steamed white rice. Um, it's long grain rice and it's organic. Um, and I call this one rainbow rice salad because I'm going to be using the different colors of the rainbow to, for the ingredients, because those, uh, different colors are very good for the body. The darker, the better, the richer in antioxidants and other types of things like polyphenols, etc., um, that are good for the body. So, um, I'm going to give you a bunch of different options. And any uh, ingredients that I use as well for seasoning, I'll include um, below. Some of them are, I have uh, different products that I'm using, and I'll include uh, their, the name of the company. And then, of course, your option is to use other things as well. So I'll first tell you some ideas. So we've got the color of the rainbow. Uh, first with the reds. So for the reds, you could use red pepper, radishes, red radishes, red tomato, raspberries, strawberries. So you can use fruit as well if you'd like. For orange, you could use carrot. You can actually use an orange, uh, orange pepper, and I don't know if I can think of anything else. That's all I can think of at the moment. For yellow, you can use yellow pepper. You can use corn. You can use a yellow tomato. Um, for, also, for orange, you could use if you have an orange tomato. Then for green, you can use things like celery, avocado, lettuce, spinach, uh, cucumber. Um, I also have sprouts you could use. Um, then for the blue and the violet, because I don't really have a um, uh, like combination, I don't have, so you could use blueberries, I don't know, other uh, things that are blue, that's all I can think of at the moment. And then for the violet, kind of purple, a purple cabbage. So I actually have my plate here already set up with um, all the vegetables, and I don't know if I could get you to see that, so I can have, show you, I've got my red tomato here. I've got my orange carrot cut up here. I've got my yellow corn, and this was actually frozen organic corn because it's not corn season. And I've got some cucumber here. I've got some purple cabbage here, and then I also have some sprouts. These are actually a combination of broccoli and radish sprouts. And then, um, because I want to make it kind of a creamy salad, I also just mashed up some avocado. So what I'm going to do first is open the bag, and then I'll tell you what I'm seasoning with. So I kind of soften up the rat the. Uh, um, right a little, open up the bag, I'm going to kind of see what I did before, kind of try to press it down so that the grains don't come out of the bag. So yeah, to keep it creamy, and I'm also going to be using coconut vinegar and coconut secret. So when I'm going to probably put this in first with the avocado to cream it up, but you want to be careful you don't put too much in because vinegar, the vinegar can make it really strong. So you want to kind of eat, be, go easy on that. And then I'm going to also put in some nutritional yeast. Um, this is from a company called Foods Alive, um, and it's non-fortified, and you want to make sure it's non-fortified because otherwise um, they use synthetic uh, B12, which you do not want. Um, so best to opt for this uh, company. And then I'm also going to be putting as well, and then I have it, actually I put it in a shaker container, it's easier. And then I have uh, also paprika and Italian seasoning, and that's not from a company. I just got it kind of in bulk, so I just put it in a container. So first I'm going to open this up. And again, uh, like the last one, this is kind of like, I said it's cold, but it's not a cold salad. It can be. I mean, if you decide to make it and then put it in the fridge. But I'm trying to give you ideas where you could do it right in the bag so you don't have to have too much cleanup. Uh, so let's get this one open. So it's not really cold. It's kind of a room temperature salad. So I want to try to get this without having those grains come out. But they seem to sometimes stick to the top. So I'm trying to open it where... They'll kind of fall back in. So what I'm going to do first, although I have tried this before, um, just for the video, I'm going to just take out some and, and show you that and then have a little sample. So this one's much drier than the um, one I did last week, which is the basmati. That one has a little oil in it. I use sunflower oil. This doesn't use any, so that's why having the... Um, the vinegar and the avocado will cream it up a little. But again, just go easy on the vinegar. You don't want it to be too strong because this does not taste like coconut. It actually tastes like vinegar. Even though there's a lot of rice in here, start off slowly. 
because you know I'm not gonna eat the whole bag in the video. I'm just gonna taste it, but I'm just kind of kind of wet it up a little. Then I'm gonna take some of the avocado to cream that up, and it's just avocado. There's no seasoning in it because I figured since I'm using the vinegar, it really doesn't need it. So I'm just gonna take a like a kind of a forkful because I'm using a fork because I mashed it up. And this was not that big of an avocado. It was kind of a small one that I did. So I'm just kind of mixing that into the um, into the rice. So it kind of gives it a greenish color now. So kind of mix that in. And then I'll start adding the vegetables. But before I do that, maybe I'll start putting some of the other seasoning in. Either way, it's fine. Um... You might want to wait and put the seasoning at the end after the vegetables are mixed in. But this is not going to be enough to um, put it in the whole bag, what I'm making, because it's kind of like deeper. So you probably want to use a longer spoon if you have one so that it can mix in to the bottom. Uh, then I'm just going to take this off with the fork like that. So what I think I will do is put in a little of the seasoning and then maybe add more at the end if it needs. So first I'm going to sprinkle in some of the nutritional yeast. And I like nutritional yeast. I use a lot. And nutritional yeast has a lot of really good benefits. It has protein. It's got other vitamins and minerals. It has a lot of good nutrition for the body. If you're a person who wants to use nutritional yeast. Then I'm going to add, i got Italian seasoning. And just if you don't know what's in Italian seasoning, it's thyme, rosemary, basil, oregano, marjoram, and sage. And this is just dried. It's not fresh, but if you want to use fresh herbs, that's another option. I'm just thinking of some other green things you could use. Things like cilantro, parsley, dill, uh, rosemary. You know, those are other things you could use for the green color and also has a lot of good nutritional benefits. Basil is nice, too. So that's the uh, that. And then I'm going to put some paprika in. And if you like other seasonings, you know, the sky is the limit what you can put in here. It's, it's endless, you know, what you like. As far as, you know, if you want to make it spicy, if you want to make it a little sweeter. But this is more of a salad, like a savory one. So, compared to last time I was doing the pudding, so it was a little sweeter uh, a dish. So. And then because I have the avocado, it's kind of sticking to the spoon, so I'm trying to pull that off of here. So, next, I'm going to start adding the veggies. And, so we'll start with the reds. Take a little bit of tomato off. I'm just going to use my spoon here since I'm eating this. A little bit of tomato. Then next I'll go to the carrots. You can see from underneath because it's nice. It's a glass plate. And everything is raw. Nothing is cooked. And then the carrot, the um, corn is just frozen and I just defrosted it. And then a little bit of corn. So all I'm doing is pouring a little bit in of each of them for now. And then as I eat it, I may add some more. And then next will be the cucumber. And I cut everything up, not too small, I mean, kind of like a little bit on the chunkier side, but if you want it finer, that's fine too, but uh, mine is just kind of like, it's more diced than minced. And then I also have some of the sprouts here, so I'm going to add some of those in. Just pour a little bit of the sprouts in. And it's nice, you can have your meal in the bag. And then if you wanted to add other things, nuts, seeds beans. I mean, like I said, the, the options are endless, you know, for like your indigo uh, or purple. I mean, if you had black beans or kidney beans is more red or lentils or like orange lentils or, you know, but that would be more something where you have to do a lot more preparation. So what I'm trying to do is make it easy that there's not too much involved, meaning you don't have to cook too much or, you know, do as not as much preparation because to cut up the vegetables didn't take me that long. So let's see if I could kind of show it to you in the video, but I'm trying to mix up the rice into it, <laughs> but I want you to also see the veggies. So I can kind of bend it like that. You can kind of get a little bit of an idea of what it looks like. You see that in there? Looks pretty, colorful, and um, very healthy. So I'm going to take a taste of it and see if I think it needs any more seasoning. It might need more vinegar just to make it a little more uh, moister, but let's see how it is. Mmm. Mmm. That's got a nice taste. Probably a little more vinegar. Again, with the vinegar, it's best to opt. Um, less is more to start. Because if you put too much in, it may be a little too strong for you. But since the rice is, like, so dry, 
and it takes up the uh, liquid. So we add a little bit more, mix it in. And then you could always add more of the avocado and more of the nutritional yeast to kind of balance out if it's too, the vinegar is too strong for you. So let me try it now, see if it has a better taste. Not that it didn't taste good, but oh no, that's nice. And then probably a little bit more, um, a little bit more nutritional yeast too, but mm, I think it's good the way it is. And then you have your meal, and then this one is got a little more protein in it. It's got three grams of protein, percent iron. And that's for one cup, and this is actually two cups. So if I was gonna have this, it would, this would be my whole meal, or part of it, um, depending on how hungry I was. So you get 210 calories, so that means you get 420 calories here. And, six grams of protein, that's pretty good. Plus the other ingredients in here adds a little more nutrition. So yeah, hopefully you'll try this out. Um, let me show you that again. It actually looks really pretty in the bag. I could get the spoon out of the way. You can see all the colors in there. So yeah, definitely try this out for yourself. So this is the Tasty Bite Organic Sticky Rice. And this is, it's all in the bag. And it's my rainbow uh, rice salad. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rawson Vegan Gal.